Hi everyone, it's Charlotte from the Kia Hyundai channel and today we are back with another sit down information video. So if you don't like these type of videos, don't click away because we're going to be talking about a hot topic that's going on in the automotive world right now. So if, you if you're not aware, in the past couple of months there has been a viral TikTok challenge by a group called the Kia Boys. Well, they have met their match, we've got the Kia girls here today. <laughs> <laughs> and we're actually going to be talking about that trend. Again, if you're unfamiliar, what it is, is uh, a group of boys, they're going around and they're showing how easy it is to steal Kia or Hyundai vehicles with nothing more than just a USB cable, something everybody has. So that has created the question on, are Kia and Hyundai vehicles actually easy to steal? Well, in Canada, no, they are not. It is not that simple. So we're going to be getting into some of the reasons why theft in Canada, uh, why this trend is not going to work for these vehicles here in Canada. And a lot of that has to do with what is called a fuel immo immobilizer or engine immobilizer. It can go by many different names. And pretty much in Canada, standard 114 of, the of, the, of Canada's Motor Vehicle Safety Act, which was announced in November of 2007 and then put into place. Um, and what this does is it's designed to enhance the security of cars by reducing auto theft, something that they were seeing a lot of beforehand. So pretty much what this means is factory immobilizers were and still are mandated in all of vehicles that were entering Canada. So that's import products like Kia and Hyundai. And the good news about this is all manufacturers complied, complied, <laughs> including Kia and Hyundai. So all of their vehicles from 2007 and some of the vehicles before too are equipped with immobilizers. So that's all good and dandy, but what do immobilizers actually do? So let's talk about that a little bit. And at the end of this video, we're actually gonna show you what one looks like as well. So you can see what your vehicle is actually equipped with. So a mobilizer, to keep it simple, it's designed to act as a theft deterrent. It keeps a car from being hot wired and stolen by someone who doesn't have the key for it. So if you don't have my key, you can't take my car, which makes sense, right? <laughs> Uh, so pretty much what it, how it works is there's transponder chips that are in the fob that almost send a code to the immobilizer unit in the vehicle. And if the code is accepted, it's, the immobilizer is going to allow fuel to cycle through the vehicle. It'll turn on, fuel will circulate, you'll be able to drive it. If the code doesn't match, so if they don't have the key in the, in the vehicle or in its proximity, then it's not gonna, then the vehicle, it will start, but fuel will not circulate through it. So it may start, but it's gonna shut off. You're not gonna be able to drive the vehicle because the programming doesn't match. If any of you have ever gotten a new key fob because you've lost one, then you know reprogramming is often part of the process. And that's to make sure that between the, both key fobs and the immobilizer, everything is working in place. That way you don't have this problem where they think someone is trying to steal your car. Okay, everyone, so we are actually seated in a 2019 Forte right now. This is a uh, key ignition, so it's not a push start. And we're gonna show what happens when an immobilizer is disconnected. Now, the steering column has come out of this vehicle. Um, the immobilizer is actually hidden in the dash, so we can't quite take everything apart and get to it. The techs would not be very happy with us if we did that, but I'm gonna show you what would happen if you tried to start the vehicle. So say if you didn't have the key, you just had a screwdriver jammed in there, what would happen? So the car, it's just cranking, but because there's no fuel delivery, nothing's, the car is not gonna be able to start. You're not actually gonna be able to drive it. But when everything is back and connected together, which I will do, and I'm actually gonna turn off the car and then turn it back on. If you take a look at the dash too, you'll see this little icon. It's a car with a key cylinder in it. And that means that your immobilizer is actually active. So now we can start the vehicle and there's no problem. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Uh, again, it's not something that you need to worry about here in Canada. You cannot steal Kia and Hyundai's here in Canada using the Kia Boys method. Of course, there's no surefire way to deter any type of vehicle theft, but at least you know the Kia Boys can't come after you. So we will see you guys next time.